What's up everybody, it's the Tank 47 and today we are going to be doing something special for you guys. This is a little bit abnormal from our normal series of Pokemon content. Instead we're going to be doing a one uh, time self-contained episode of Pokemon Villain Jam where today we are going to be playing as one of our favorite Pokemon villains. So we'll see what we have in today's um, game playthrough, who we can choose. We did do a little bit of experimenting beforehand with this so we know how it plays a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get started, but as we do play this intro cutscene, make sure you guys do hit that like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on alerts to get notified when I drop awesome new content like this. We're going to be doing some other one-off videos like this as well in the future, so definitely come back and check often. We also got our Scarlet and Violet Soul Link series going with the homie Snipe of Steve that you can check uh, premiering uh, or coming out every uh, Wednesday Thursday or Wednesday, Friday or Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Sorry. And our Pokemon Insurgent series coming every um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So make sure you guys do check those out. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this. So this starts out opening as uh, we got all the villains kind of getting abducted and put into a tournament style um, game. So this comes from a creator called Purple Zap. Shout out to him for making this awesome game. If you guys do want to try this for yourselves, I'll have it posted down in the description below where you guys can definitely check that out. Um, it is really cool to play through. So you'll have uh, be able to play as eight different villains, one from each generation or all of them from across the generations, I should say. Um, so this is a really cool concept and you'll be able to choose up to six Pokemon, um, teach them custom uh, move, or teach them moves and then take them into a tournament to become the best villain and help realize your goals. So we're not going to read all of the um, the uh, text to you guys instead. You guys can kind of see what's happening right now. All the villains are getting abducted in the middle of their big battle. And we are all the way into Kalos, I believe. And now Alola. Alright, we got Guzma. And we got our last villain, which is the least villainy villain, Piers. And we all get teleported to this tournament place. All right, so we got all of us gathered here thanks to this mysterious villain who is telling us right now that we are all gathered to declare who's going to be the villain that helps them and gets their goals realized while the others get sent back and defeated by the main characters of their respective games because he is from the future. He's also telling us that we get only the items that we can use are these special jams. One heals uh, 100 health, one heals... Uh, all health and the other one revives at a quarter and revives all your moves, which is a nice um, aid to us in the battle. And now we are going to choose our main character. We already did a play through with Giovanni. We didn't make it past the first trainer, so this is actually difficult. We are also doing the set battle mechanic, so that's going to make it a little bit harder. So let's go with someone. I don't want to go with Guzma. You know what? Let's go with Getsis. All right, we got Hydreigon. So we got a Mega Ring and we get all these TMs. So now we are going to be able to choose our team of six, but we already have um, Hydreigon uh, set on our team with the Levitate ability. He's got some decent moves, Draco Meteor, um, Flamethrower. So we can teach him new moves, of course. So now we get to choose from all these Pokemon who we want to bring on our team. And I think we know we're going to go with Titar. You got Stealth Rock? No. Um, Definitely go ahead and pick you up. I think Volcarona would be a good one. Flame Body, which is nice. Quiver Dance. Let's go ahead and pick up a Volcarona. So let's see, we got Salizapede. 
Scraggy, which would be a dark fighting type. You got decent stats. High defense. Shed skin. Let's go ahead and pick you up. I don't ever really use him in playthroughs. So we got a water type here. Water ground, which was nice. That's nice coverage. So let's take you as well. What does that leave us? Five Pokemon. So we got a fire. Two or a drag or two uh, uh, pseudo legendaries in uh, Hydreigon and Tyranitar. Lots of bull. Not much speed. Drapion could be nice. Powers up moods if they become critical hits. This could be a that could be a nice addition. Buffalon could be nice. What about electrons? Electros with a Giga Drain, huh? I think let's go with. Actually, what about Aerodactyl? Mega Aerodactyl could be good. Let's go with Aerodactyl. All right, so we got our six Pokemon. So we are going to take a quick jump cut, and we will be right back with our uh, moves taught to our Pokemon. All right, guys, we are back. We taught our mon some moves, and now we're ready to buy some of these jams. So the Scarlet Jam heals 100 HP. The Royal um, does all HP, and the Golden revives. So we'll buy one Golden. We're going to buy a Royal, and then we'll buy the rest of them being the Scarlet ones just for our first round here. We have not made it past the first round, so we don't know if we get more money or not. So that could be all of our items. So the first round we're going against Maxi. So ground type here. So let's lead with. Let's lead with Seismitoad. See how many we can take out in the first. Or with our first mon. So we are ready for the first round to begin. It's a good thing we don't have our legendaries. Alright, so we got fire ground here. Alright, so we were able to one-shot that. That's nice. Mighty Yenna. So, and again, remember, we are doing the set typing. Hope we get the burn. We don't. Alright, so it outspeeds me, so I think we need to heal. It did too. So it went with the full on. Should live that. Okay, you sucker punch. So, yep, that is it for Seismitoad. He did decent. Um, switching to Scrafty. And I missed my first attack. So we knock out Mighty Yenna. Now we got Crobat. So it's going to be uh, super effective against me. Let's switch into Volcarona. Poison Jab's not going to do any. Let's Quiver Dance. Eh, it's not going to do anything. Well, Volcarona tried. 
We should have just swapped in a T-Tar right away. Alright, so let's Mega Evolve T-Tar and hit with a Stone Edge. That would one shot. All right, so we got Earthquake now. Hopefully that one shots. There we go, we're making some progress now. So last time we lost in, with Giovanni in the first round when we were playing our uh, quick test playthrough, which sucks. So now we're kind of just going crazy with the one shots. And we got Weezing. And we've got the flinch off. It burns, but we should be okay here. And we got our first round win. So we got $5,000 there, so that it does give us some more items. Um, uh, why not help the eight of us? No, you see, I've already witnessed what most of you can do together. Um, and you failed your mission. Uh, this references um, the Alolan version of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon where you get Giovanni to form a rainbow rocket. So we're going to go up against Guzma next and then either Lysander or Cyrus. So first thing we're going to do is go heal. And obviously we're not going to do this like a Nuzlocke. So let's get our couple more of these royal ones. Let's buy one more revive. And then two more royal jams. No reason to save our money. And I think we are ready. Um, Guzma. I'm not sure who you would lead with, so we'll stay with Seismitoad as our lead. No, we don't need to train our Pokemon. We'll just go right on in. All right, so we are in the second round. All right, Skullbuzz Guzma is sending out Galiciopod. So we got Bug coming out first. I should have hit with the Toxic. All right, so I got the poison off at least. This music though is kind of nice. I, li I like that. Um, this should kill. Emergency exit, okay. So we should be a salad with T-Tar here. It's probably going to use a crap ton of jam, so let's try to make him burn all those. I got Lynch, so is he going to use another one? Oh no, the close combat! I didn't know he had that. Oh, that sucks. All right, out comes Hydrogen. Let's hit with that flamethrower. All right, so we got Scissor, so perfect flamethrower again. All right, now we got Glissiopod, so one more flamethrower. Just keep on working it. All right, so Vika Volt. We don't want to lower our special too much. We outspeed here, so let's go for it. Um, uh, let's use one of our Royal Jams here. And this should have one hit. 
Oh no, he has some solid defense. All right, we're gonna most likely die here, so let's go ahead and hit with the Dracor Meteor. Oh, he survived! Good a job, we'll sacrifice you to swap into someone full health here. All right, we'll go ahead and hit with the I. Oh, I missed. There we go. That fainted Masquerin. So we got Ariados next. Um, Stone Edge should do it. And that is it for Guzma. So we're off to the next round and the championship round. Against Cyrus. Things are getting a little boring. No, maybe so. Let's make things interesting. 25 legendary balls. In the finals, each participant will be allowed something special. I made these Pokeballs just for the occasion. They have a higher chance than even an Ultra Ball when used on any kind of legendary Pokemon. All right. So now I get Zekro. That is going to be nice. If I can catch it. Um. I don't think I'll survive this anyway. Yeah. All right, we'll get the chip damage there, but that might not be a good thing. Let's go ahead and start throwing some Pokeball or legendary balls at it. All right, all right, my my team might get knocked out here. I don't think I have anything that I can use to... There we go. Okay. Alright, who am I going to swap out? I think Scrafty? Yeah, bye-bye Scrafty. Alright, so let's heal up, buy some more items, and get ready to take on this next round. Um, I accidentally just bought that one. We got three revives now. And a bunch of other jams. Okay. We are ready for the last round against Cyrus. So you're going to have Dialga? We got the freeze off. That's nice. So that's going to be super helpful. We're at a level disadvantage. I didn't realize that. And we got the freeze again. Ice punch is that move right now. All right. So we were able to take out Hunch Grow Weevil now. gonna poison off I don't think we'll get a move here oh we missed yeah that does it all right the next man we are gonna send in here let's send in Aerodactyl should be able to outspeed I believe nope I should have thought about that This might be a bad idea, too. I think you don't outspeed. 
I better use a dark type move. We're good. All right, it is a Dialga. There's no way you get another move off. Yep. Okay, time for Zekrom to come out now then. I think we outrage. Yep, outrage works for us. We should, as long as we hit kill there, making a good progress. We haven't even had to Mega Evolve this one yet. I don't think he's used his Mega yet, so he's going to Mega here. Yep. And the Mold Breaker takes out Zekrom. Alright, so we need something that can take out Mega Gyarados here. That we can revive. I don't think any of them take out Mega Gyarados by itself. Okay, so we're just gonna use this to sacrifice and uh, get Hydration fully healed to come in. And we got the burn on, which is nice, so that'll lower its attack. Dark Pulse, it's not going to do much at all. We almost got to use Draco Meteor here. All right, we should get Gyarados here. And a Dragon Dance, so that guarantees the dub with Gyarados, or against Gyarados. And we got Probo Pass for the last one, so as long as we hit with Flamethrower. Oh, it's ground. All right, T-Tar should come in and mop Probo Pass pretty easily. Especially once we Mega Evolve it. And it got me a Paralyze. All right, we took out Cyrus. So that means we are the tournament champions. Well, it is time. It is Baba. Baba is the mysterious winner here. All right, so we are ready to go meet Baba. Uh, you're here. Before we go, I believe I owe you an explanation. Well, you see, I was once a branch chief of a group in the Alola region called the Aether Foundation. We appear to be a very generous organization. We were in certain aspects, but we also had an ulterior motive. Anyways, everything went south and I got demoted to an intern. Could you imagine that being the great branch chief, Faba, demoted to an intern? Um, he found uh, this. Unaware of what I was capable of, I opened the bottle and a genie came out and I figured this must be the universe's way of repaying me. A uh, genie I just found happened to be Hoopa. When in true form, it can create portals even to other universes. This is how I got each of you here. Now, we shall we go as an initial deal stated? You help me first and then I help you. All right. And we betray him. This Pokemon Hoopa, I want it for myself. With it, I don't and need you. That's kind of, that's an interesting twist. I will never give Hoopa up. I am the great Baba, the one and the only one in the world. I'm irreplaceable. So you wish to battle with me as you will. Oh, 
So it looks like to beat the game, we take out Baba and steal his Hoopa. All right, let's get the poison on him. And he outsped me now. Alright, he foul played. Let's switch into Aerodactyl here. I think you could take him. If you hit. All right, so it does work there. We got Aerodactyl with one Mon down. All right, so we got Bruxius. We're definitely not gonna win this one, so let's just roost. And it crits hits me anyway. All right, Hydrogen will come out. We should be able to just continue to whittle it down well if it doesn't heal. We won't need to whittle it. Alright, Raichu, so we got Dark Pulse again. Okay, now it's gonna kill. Alright, switching out to T-Tar then. Got me on the confused, but I hit through it. Down goes Raichu. Okay, here comes Hoopa. I think we Stone Edge here. And we're about to learn Hyper Beam, but I think we keep our current moveset. Alright, we got Alakazam, so let's heal before we do anything else. It's gonna Mega. So let's Mega with T-Tar ourselves then. Let's hit with Dark Pulse, because that should be super effective. And we knock out Alakazam. I think he only has one more. That's correct, Slowbro. Alright, so he's gonna he's gonna win this, so we might as well just attempt to do some chip damage on him. And he just uses an ice move and throws. That kills for sure. Alright, Zachram, you can come in and mop up this low bro. Easy peasy. And let's not worry about learning hyper voice. So we defeat Baba, so we now get Hoopa. And we are about to push Baba into his own portal. And that is it. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Purple Zav, for creating this game. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you guys do check it out. I got the link in the description below on this video. You guys can play this yourself. Play as one of the other seven um, villains from the other generations as well and see if you can also take on um, Faba and his tournament of power. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button. Turn on, uh, turn on alerts as well to get notified 
when all my content drops, including the next episode of Scarlet and Violet Soul Link with the Snipe of Steve. And until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Peace. Thank out.